So I ended up going to Gander yesterday since the fishing was absolutely terrible. Managed to catch one carp on a jig. I don't have it with me, it's actually right over there. So <clears throat> we ended up going to Gander since the fishing sucked. And just wanted to see what we could pick up. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight packages of plastics, one thing line, one rod, and then one swim bait. So the first thing we got was a Gander Mountain rod. This is the competitor rod right here. This is a 6'6", six, six, medium heavy uh, line, 8 to 14 pound test, lure weight, 1 fourth to 5 eighths ounce. And I really like the uh, the design right here. The foam at the bottom isn't like the best, but right here it's the nice foam. Up here it's kind of iffy, but at the bottom it's kind of bad. But I really like the matte black on here. It's smooth, not shiny. So that's a six six. Hopefully it works out good. And this was thirty dollars. But when we, well, I'll get to that later. So the second thing was a storm swim bait. This is the live kick and shad, five inch. There's only one treble hook on here, and then you tie it on right there. I kind of was wishing that there would be one back here, but for the price, it's not that bad. <clears throat> second thing was a package of missile baits. These are the D bomb super bug baits. I think these are four or five inches. Probably four inches. These were four four forty-nine. And then we have some suffix performance braid. And I've been looking for this braid everywhere and I couldn't find it. I mean not this specific brand, but just six pound test braid in general. Now six pound braid, braid is always thinner than monofilament because if this was, if this was six pound mono it would be twice to three times the diameter is this, the, di the diameter of this six pound is 0 .006 inches or 0 .14 millimeters so it's a two pound monofilament if it would have been monofilament so it's a hundred yards of six pound test for 13 14 bucks and the next thing I've never seen these before in any stores and I just saw them and they're kind of like the old ones I have because here might not be able to see it but on the um like what would be the claws of the baits there's like a little design that goes back and forth like a zigzag and these are net baits the go-to bait these are pocket chunk cosa special special 2.5 inch I want to say and these were I want to say that they were two dollars in some sense but I got it on my phone right here these are these are three dollars. Six of them come in a pack, and they're made with they're scented, they're made with salt, and they have pork fat. But I took it out of the package, and they don't smell like pork fat. But I think there is some pork fat in the bodies of the baits, so we're gonna have to test that out. And finally, I got my hands on some more poor boys. I have another pack of these right over on my shelf, and they're, I know I got one somewhere. Got all these baits right here. Just gotta find one real quick. Here we go. So, they're kind of like these, kind of like a flipping bait or a punching bait if you rigged it up with a shaky head or something. So, it's a really ribbed design on the side. The body's like two and a half, two inches long. Then there's a little tail on the back. 
So I couldn't, they didn't have those exact ones, but they still had some poor boys. These are poor boys, hand poured, salt, integrated. They're located in Orlean, Indiana, I think. Orland, Indiana. I believe that's what it says. Their webpage is www.poorboysbaits.com. And these are cucumber gobies. So these kind of look like tadpoles, actually. And they're, I would say, four and a half to five inches long. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think are in a pack and yeah eight in a pack these are two dollars and 97 cents so I always like using like hand poured baits or something new that you don't always see in stores and the next thing is some havoc baits so <clears throat> these are like there's already a sale at the store that we didn't know about but these are already on sale so I got three bags Three bags of the same thing. These are Havoc Bottom Hopper, Hopper Larry and Nixon design. Uh, these are 6.5 inch and there's 12 of them in a bag. So I'll probably use these as a trick worm or drop shotting. They look really oily and really nice. So they're on sale for $1.97 a bag. So I picked up three of them because that's all that was left. And the next thing was another bag of Havocs. These are also $1.97. These are the Flat Dog 5 inch, 8 count. Probably use these for drop shining or Texas rigging also. And it looks like there is a design on here, but you can't see it too well. Oh, these are also Watermelon Small Black, and then the other ones were Black Emerald. And then the last bag of baits were some Gander Mountain Senkos. These were five bucks, I believe. There are 15 of them in a pack, five inch thick watermelon red ghost. And it includes a free Gamagatsu hook, which is right. Uh, you might you probably can't see it, but it's right there. And these, yeah, like I said, five bucks. And the rod that was 30 bucks also came with. Uh, Gander Mountain competitor reel 5.0 to 1 gear ratio one ball bearing I might use it for catfishing, but probably not for bass fishing and then when we checked out it all checked out to about 67 $64, 70 But then it went down to 54 ish because there's like a there's a 20% discount on all of the baits so uh, shad ended up only being like four bucks or something and this was five dollars so that was pretty nice and then we also ended up going to Walmart and got some line and a frog but that was all that we managed to pick up at Gander Mountain if we would have knew it was a 20 percent discount we probably would have gotten a lot more stuff but here's my haul from Gander and I'll see you guys in the next video